Hi, Gary Clayton here. You know, Alan Greenspan in around 1998 said to all of us, he's a Fed chairman at that point, we had irrational exuberance. What everybody was saying is it's different this time. It's not the same. Values out. Everything's growth. Dot com is going to go crazy. Tech's wonderful. And then we had the crash in 2000 through 2003. And then real estate went nuts and so forth. And then you all know what happened to the Great Recession. Well, as millennial generation has learned, these things happen in the formative years of them growing up. And quite rightly so, they are, generally speaking, versus other generations out there, Gen Xers and Boomers and Silent Generation and so forth, put less money in equities because all they've seen is down, down markets. It makes sense and it forms our generations each time this happens. The other interesting aspect with how millennials like to operate is they would like to do most things online that make sense in the financial arena, but they also know they could use advice, but they're a little uh, slow to take advice from parents or other financial advisors, mainly because they've seen the abuses in the financial industry. So really in a tough place here because it seems like everything relative to money is kind of negative or down. But if we take the positive approach here, what really it, this is all about is two things. Use the digital environment out there and have time with a competent advisor to help you make good decisions about your money and not have that advisor connected to Wall Street or connected to commissions or connected to things of the past which quite frankly have not worked out for a lot of people. We've seen that with parents and grandparents so forth that have really gotten hit hard over the last 20 years. What's that all about? Well, you're looking to seek out places like the robo-advisor world it's called where they basically it's all online but then there's not a connection. Well, So then you look at the main advisor world which maybe your parents or grandparents deal with and it's all of the advisor and there's no digital side. I believe there's a middle ground and we're starting to see this happening everywhere out in the industry in little places here and there. And I think you're seeking out that. That's my guess uh, where you have that digital representation and then an advisor on an as needed basis, but probably not very often, just so you make sure you make a couple of good decisions every year. Uh, this is something as a firm we've been working on for the last several years. And if you want to know more about that, because it's a pretty vast area, just contact us and we'll walk you through what we believe are some ways for you to address these issues in that environment you've had to deal with in your life over the last 20 years, because it has made it difficult to really figure out the whole financial equation as it, uh, as it pertains to you in particular. So until next time, enjoy.